Do you think they're fascist, sir? What? Do you think they're fascist? Yes, over absolutely. There? They, they, they have, the Obama supporters share the same, do, uh, employ the same tactic as fascist, just attempting to destroy anybody who disagrees with them. And if you compare uh, Obama's political or economic philosophy to that of Mussolini, they're, they're a lot closer than you think. You should look up some stuff on Mussolini. Define fascism for me. Fascism is a system in which the, if you will, you own the cow and the government controls the milk. And that's what Obama supports. He supports massive government control of the economy without necessarily ownership. That's the difference between fascism and socialism. And if you look at the tactics that Obama and his supporters employ, then it's very similar to what the uh, brown shirts of Italy did. Shouting down anyone who disagrees with them, assaulting people who disagree with them, voter fraud, routine voter fraud. Yeah, I'd say Obama qualifies as a fascist. Okay, so Republicans don't engage in any voter fraud at all? You know, if, if any voter fraud by the Republicans were proved, I'm sure the media would be all over it. Uh, oh, that's another thing. You have the media backing Obama just as they do in communist and fascist countries. What Obama is, would do is turn us into Mexico in the 1970s. Unemployment, um, bad economy, uh, pro-government media. That, Obama may want to turn us into France, but he's turning us into, he, he would turn us into Mexico. Okay, so uh, are you implying then that Fox News supports Obama? Some people on Fox News support Obama, sure. Such as? Alan Holmes, Greta Van Susteren, um, I would say Carl, Carl Cameron, the Democrat. He's not bad as a reporter, but I bet he supports Obama. A few there other reporters do, absolutely. So you're pretty familiar with Fox News? Reasonably so. Not every single person on it, not every single show. Is that your primary source of news? It's one of many sources of news. Okay. I don't have a primary source. All right. Uh, yeah, you talked about fascism. Are you familiar with the uh, definition of fascism as corporate ownership of government? Yes, and that's exactly what Obama stands for. He's got, look who his vice president is, the senator from MBNA. Okay, so Republicans don't, aren't backed by business and corporations? Some Republicans are backed by some business interests, certainly. Okay. In and terms of voter fraud, are you, are you familiar with a man named Nathan Sproul? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Are you familiar with a man named Nathan Sproul? The name sounds vaguely familiar. I can't recall it right at the moment. He's being paid by the McCain campaign to, re to engage in voter registration fraud. Prove it. It's on my blog today. I'd like to see the evidence for it. I have yet to see Democrats 